Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We're going to go ahead and work on this journal hybrid that's going inside of our mini album that we're making. It's actually going to be the, in this third fin, elastic fin here. And I think I know what I want to do. So <laughs> I've got most of it ready and I think it's going to be easy. We'll see. I may have to take some things out. But this was the last video that we did. We did these two pockets and we matted the inside covers and we made these two inserts. So I have a whole video playlist for this album. Are you guys crooked? You might be. I, I, I need to. I don't know. You guys, I don't know what I need. I need something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have a whole video playlist for this album starts at the beginning of the templates the intro uh, into the templates and it shows you how to make the covers shows you how to do the binding system shows you how to do some of the page setups you, all, all of that is step by step in that video playlist and I will link that right there in the cards and down below in the description box and we are using the simply magical uh, let me grab it I didn't even, I didn't even grab it simply magical portrait version a set of templates all this stuff is linked down below and these this here is the journal covers that's part of the templates right so they're a little bit larger than the main base page so here is the main base page of the set of templates and you can see how the journal covers are just a little bit larger and that is so if you wanted to, you can take this whole set out, uh, you can have it sewn together, all of that, and it's more of like a standalone, if you would like for it to be a standalone. So this could be like a journal, a standalone journal, but then you could use all the pockets and all of that stuff on the pages inside of here. So you don't have to make a big mini album, you can just make a journal mini album, like a hybrid mini album. Okay. So, this page here I made the exact same way I made some of the other pages, oops, some of the other pages inside of here, and, sorry you guys, everything, the wind, I've got my fan, it's like 5 million degrees in here, I've got my fan going, everything's just blowing everywhere, uh, but we've made this setup many times already in this album, I think the last time we did it was when we added these extra photo areas right the photo mat areas the uh, extra pages so the same way exact same way we take we take two of page p7 and um put the strip in the middle or use the traceable template where you lay this down trace it out and and cut it out so we're going to be using one of these and then i've got uh, i took apart the oops I took apart the two books that we had already like kind of had together like we had the junk journal section that we had made like a couple videos ago and then we had like the journal journal section so I took some pages out of the junk journal section so just some book pages they really and these are from a digital printable from someone else and book pages and whatnot and uh, vintage papers and there's some um, I think this was just an extra one. This is handmade uh, paper. So I just took some stuff out just because I don't need all of this and I don't need all of those dot grid papers. So I'm just gonna set them aside for now. But I did keep some, I did add some and I kept some that was in part of the junk journal um, section. So I added some photo mats. So this is from my photo mats essentials and a three by four photo will fit in here and it comes with, there's two set, there's four photo mats on one page and uh, it's linked down below. It's available on my Etsy shop and I just printed it onto 28 pound paper. So I just folded it in half and then cut the two apart so that it can go, um, go around like this. And then I kept this page, except it cracked, so I just kind of bent it down a little bit. And then I kept this little little vintage uh, ledger paper. And then I printed some of the companion papers uh, from the Floral Autograph Companion Paper Collection that I released when I released the new background designs. 
So I printed, I double sided printed some of those. I uh, kept that one. That was just a vintage book page from an old book. This one here is also from the Photo Mats Essentials 2. And this one fit a 4x6 photo. I did the same thing, except this one I did print on the back. The smaller one I just forgot and cut it apart. And um, it's no big deal. So a 4x6 photo will fit here. And this is some vintage notebook paper. There's another one of the um, companion paper collection from the floral autograph. And then there's the back side, double sided printed. Then there's the other piece from that 3x4 photo mat from the beginning there, right there. Then there's a map, a vintage map, a vintage notebook paper, some handmade paper. This is some old stationery that's kind of got that gold foil along the edge. And then here's some of that dot grid paper. And then I've got one of the hinges in here. I like to put one of the hinges in the middle because the elastic is going to be here and I don't want it to tear through. So I like to have uh, one sitting in the middle no matter, no matter what um, until it's like a permanent situation. But this isn't going to be a permanent situation right now. So I've got those and I thought I had another one printed. Another, oh, I did so here is, there is um, a photo mat right here is one of the photo mats from the photo mat essentials and I printed on the back side as well. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well. It's very light. So all I did was I just folded it in half right down the middle. making it harder than it than it is you guys just folded it in half and I think I got it a little crooked I'm gonna hold it up to my light and see if I can see through and even if it is a little crooked it's okay and this is printed onto I think this is 28 pound paper and I'm just gonna trim them both out together I did pretty good. So that's how I got the photo mat. And matter of fact, let's find a spot for it. Why not? So where's the other one? There's that one. Maybe we could put it in the middle here somewhere. Maybe right here. So these are kind of like the junk journal and journal pages that I want to put in the middle. But on the outside of that, I want to have this page here, which is, again, the main base page to the album itself. So I wanted to add some pockets that, let me go ahead and take this back out. Set this aside. I wanted to have some pockets in here, so, oh, I, I had extra, where I printed off some extra papers, double-sided of the paper collection, the, um, the uh, companion paper collection, so I'm just going to set those aside, I'm not going to use those right now. I had two pockets that were already printed out, and one of them is page P8, and we use the other part of this and another part of the album. And then one of them is a P9, which we used the, the corner pockets that were on P9 here on the covers. So I've d made both of these into pockets and I scored and taped. I scored and taped both of them. And since I already had the uh, mat for page P9 printed out, I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. And then I printed the mat for page P8 out and that one is uh, P26. So this is the floral background design, right? So then I got to thinking, well, why not just go ahead and mat whatever side I don't put the pocket on with the floral background design, and that way it's open for any sort of embellishment. So now I just need to figure out if I want the pocket to be on the outside or the pocket to be on the inside. And since there's pockets here on the covers, I'm thinking maybe the pockets should go on the inside. So, 
let's add the two mats. These are both, all of these are printed onto 28 pound paper. So it's not heavy cardstock. So I'm just gonna use my fabric tack and I'm gonna attach these down. Did I write down what page? These are page, what page is this? This is, did I already tell you what page these were? The mats for the main base page are on page P25. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. So you can add as many like mini album type pages as you want in this little hybrid journal area. You are not limited except you're only limited to your space. <laughs> and if you printed your, if you put your main base pages onto paper and made your pockets and stuff out of paper, it's not near as thick either. So keep that in mind as well. So this, this here is on cardstock, but the mats were printed on to paper. Okay, so now I can see where we could decorate this up a little bit. We could add some embellishments, we could add some tucks, we could add, there's all kinds of things we can do here. So that's good. So then let's do the pockets on the inside. So I think uh, they're both, Neither one of them are the full pocket. Neither one of them are, you know, the whole pocket. One's uh, a little taller than the other. But I think we'll do the, sh the shorter pocket on the left-hand side here. And then the longer pocket on the right. And it doesn't even have to be a pocket. It could just be a flip, too. Well, this one's going to be a pocket, so we'll start there. <laughs> I thought I had this... Thought, I thought I had this planned out or, or at least thought through pretty good, but I guess not. Okay. So. Oh my. Hang on just a second. Oh. Is this the wrong height? Some, I might have scored wrong. No, that's correct. I might have scored this. You know how I do sometimes. Yeah, it's a little it's a little taller than it should be, so I'm going to try to just center it right away. It's just hanging up off on each side just a little bit. <laughs> just a little. wondering if I should do anything interesting with those corners. Let's, just because, wow, I'm going to take my corner chomper here that's full and I'm just going to do the angle. going to put a piece of tape down across this bottom here. And then let's put this down. Just a little, that's okay. So the mat then, I need to corner chomp the mat. So I'm gonna use my large angle punch and corner chomp it. Let 
this up. And erase the numbers that I wrote on there just so y'all can tell you guys what it is. And then I'm going to mat this little pocket. I didn't pick anything for here yet. Imagine I can find something. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's just do them both the same. That'll be fun. And then the mat. Attach this one down. This one's probably the same way. I probably cut it wrong. Oh no, this one's shorter. <laughs> so I didn't. I, I mean, I didn't. I don't mean cut it wrong. I meant score it wrong. I probably scored it wrong. This one's actually just a tiny bit shorter than the page. But again, it's okay. In case you're wondering why I'm putting tape, that way our inserts don't get stuck on that lip. And I'm trying to prevent a lot of bulk because we're already we're already quite bulky in the album. And just in case I don't mat, which I'm probably not going to mat this one all the way down uh, inside there, so. Sure, I've got everything going the right way. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to add this mat. I feel like they need something dark back there. I kind of like I kind of like the idea of them both having like this green. Let's do that. So I'm just going to use the height of this mat, which is exactly the height of, <laughs> of this paper. Let's put on the other side here. Oh, those little, we should have made little booklets out of there, but that's okay. going to cut it, what is this, 8 by 8 I'm going to cut it 4 by 4 or not 4 by 4 I'm going to do 4 by 8 and we'll just have one there and one there can't really see much of that but that's okay I'm going to ink a couple edges up and then we're going to attach it down. 
I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to go on three sides. Mostly, I'm going to slide this in here. So then this is going to go, this will be the next page, it's going to go in there like that. This, how did this not get inked? I feel like I need to stuff that with something a little bit more so I'll quit moving around. And then all of these are going to go inside of here like this. So let's see, it looks like we might need to trim down those papers, which is okay, it happens. The more you stuff into something like this, the further out the pages are gonna stick out. <laughs> uh, so let's just go ahead and take a quarter of an inch off. And you can always remove pages, of course. You don't have to leave all your pages in there. There we go. That's better. And so then this will go here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the elastic. Oops. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, I never tied it back. <laughs> I tie, untied it and then, because it's real loosey goosey, you can pull it, right? That's kind of the whole point of the way we did our binding. If you want to see that, that'll be in the playlist for this album. Um, it's kind of the whole point so that you can move stuff around easily without tearing a bunch. Okay, get that on there. Okay. So then just like that. And then the bow ties. So then there is the removable hybrid journal right there. Okay, goodness. Look at it, look at look at what we got going on. And I think we're gonna do a tie that goes all the way around the album. Because, look, at, here's one of the things that's thickened it up where I did that, I did the foam tape on these two pockets right here. I mean, I think it's fantastic, it looks great. But it did give uh, add a little more bulk, uh, but it's okay. I can handle it. And so uh, if you find yourself in a situation where you're like, okay, there's too many pages, there's too much going on, well, just start removing things. Just start taking things out. Like, for example, um, you can remove this with, uh, uh, what's it called, undo. You can take the foam off and remove it and then put them back down and it won't be as thick. Undo is, just in case you're curious. This stuff right here. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I'm going to add anything into the pockets right now. Um, well, I might just leave that open for whatever is left. So I think what I may want to do next would be to do some 
more embellishing on pages like this and like this and use our mini envelopes and stamps and things that we have. I think that maybe we'll do some like embellishment clusters and things like that and go from there. I think that'll be our next step. So for now, we are gonna leave this as is. And again, this could just be a standalone journal. You, you can get, sew it together if you want. You can go ahead and put an elastic band, uh, band around it, like, um, you know, just make a, a circle, a loop. Whoop, where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> make a, a loop and you can just have it a temporary, um, temporary uh, binding for the journal until you're ready for it to be done. You can remove this um, all together and not include it at all with this album. And you can change some of the pages up. You can do that. There's a lot of things you can do. But anyway, I just wanted to show you a way to do a hybrid version. You could do this type of flap inside of here. You can do anything that you can do in the album you can do in this journal because of the way the pages are set up, okay? All right, so I think that's all we're gonna do in this video. I'm getting pretty excited. I love, I'm loving the way this is coming together. I'm loving the whole way this, this album is working together. I'm just loving it a lot. So if you guys are enjoying this video series, if you're enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think down in the comments and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.